welcome to you all viewers all over the world. This is ECG, the Jesus Nation Church, Cosmos City branch, and we welcome you to this daily devotional, Parak daily devotional. And by the way, happy Parak week to you all, sons and daughters of Major One and members, and everybody watching us from wherever you are watching us. I'm your host, Wiseman Martin from Cosmos City branch, and I'm joined by a powerful daughter of Major One, Pastor Pretty. Welcome, my pastor. Thank you, man of God. Shalom, shalom, viewers all over the world. Happy Parak week. We are blossoming in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And as we are in the Parak week, our Father was taken ahead of time by our, our, our Heavenly Lord, Jesus Christ, into this day, which is the 15th of November, Wednesday. And the message of the day is, the Lord shall intervene. Hallelujah. So, before we go anywhere, I want you to know, whatever you are facing, whatever, whatever that is happening around you, the message of the day today is, the Lord shall intervene. And the word of the day is from Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 in NIV, the Bible says, The Lord declared, yes. I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. Yes. And I am concerned about their suffering. Oh my God. The prophet and the revelation from the prophet, our father Major Wali, he says, This passage recounts the plight of the Israelites during their captivity in Egypt. Their time in bondage had grown exceedingly long, and they found themselves in a state of hopelessness, oh enduring misery and suffering. In response to their cries, God descended to deliver them from their enslavement and guide them to the promised land. When the Lord decided to rescue his people, he chose a prophet, Moses, to lead the way. Whenever a prophet appears, it signifies divine intervention. My God. From this passage, we are gaining insight into the fact that the Lord sees, hears, and understand the tribulations faced by his children. Regardless of the circumstances you are currently enduring, when you pray to God, he listens to your supplications. According to the heavenly timetable, there is always an appointment, a more appointed moment when God intervenes and situations change. Even as we approach the conclusion of this year, God has the power to manifest and transform your circumstances. As a prophet of God, I declare that God will show up in your situation and rewrite your story in Jesus' name. Amen. So whatever you are going through, the prophet of God is saying, the Lord shall intervene. Amen. These were the days of Moses. And we are living in the days of Major One. Oh and as God speaks to us, God speaks to us through the prophet, yes. through this daily devotional, each and every day, God speaks a word. And today the Lord is saying, the Lord shall intervene. He has spoken to his prophet. Yes, God has seen you. God has heard your misery. God has heard your prayers. And God is saying to you, he is going to intervene in your situation, in your challenge, in whatever that is happening around you, the Lord will intervene. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. God is hearing you. God is listening to you. And he is going to intervene. My pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Our father today, he saying, God will intervene. Oh, yes. Men of God, when we are talking of intervention, oh yes, you are we are talking about when you are in, in, in a situation, oh yes, and then something that happens, oh yes. So I believe that the children of Israel, Amen. they had even given up. Amen. They were telling themselves that we shall live in slavery forever. Amen. But God intervened. Oh yes. So wherever you are, as we are approaching the end of the year, oh yes. the Lord will intervene in your situation. Oh yes. And our prophet has declared, my God, hey, your story is changing. Oh yes. God is rewriting your story. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In that situation, oh, the yes. Lord will show himself up. Satana. My God. Our prophet yes. is saying, you can go deeper. 
reading the word of God in Luke chapter number 5, verse number 1 to 11. Write it down. Genesis chapter number 21, verse number 15 to 19. Amen. John chapter number 5, verse number 1 to 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then our Father is a man of action. So prophetic action. The Lord shall intervene in that situation. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. On prophetic action, our Father is saying, Do not lose faith in God, for He has not forsaken you. Amen. Devote yourself to prayer. Immerse yourself in the study of His word. Oh, yes. And continue to believe steadfastly. Amen. Hallelujah. When the Lord intervenes, it will seem like a dream come true. Amen. You know what, my pastor? Oh, yes. When there's something that you've been waiting for, uh. and then the Lord intervenes, oh, yes. and it happens, you will not even believe it. Viewers all over the world, as you are watching us right now, you are believing God for something great. The Lord will intervene in that situation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Do not on your God. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. study the word of God. Immerse yourself in prayer yes. and seek God of mental and intervene in your situation. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no something, there is nothing that is greater than the God of Major One. Oh, yes. There is no situation that is greater than God of Major One. Oh. Is it sickness? Oh. Is it poverty? Ah. Is it barrenness? Ah. Whatever it is, Amen. the Lord shall intervene oh, in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet has declared upon your life, your story is changing. You are coming back with a testimony. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you the Lord your situation is changing in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Mercy is rewriting your story yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, let's pray together in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My pastor, we shall pray with everyone that is watching. This is a prayer that is written by our Father. And I want you to believe as we pray. Raise up your right hand in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for your today's message. For today's message. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for your divine intervention. For your divine intervention in my life. In my life. I firmly believe. I firmly believe that my story. That my story. My destiny. My destiny. My health. My health. My family. My family. And my children. And my children are all blessed. Are all blessed by your word. Lord, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Your family is blessed. Oh yes. Your work is blessed. Oh yes. The work of your head is blessed. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are suffering from a certain disease, the Lord will intervene in that disease. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. We don't care what the doctors say. Amen. We don't care what the doctors wrote. Oh. But God will intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And some some of you they, they have declared and they say you will not make it in this 2023. Oh. The Lord the Lord will intervene oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a book that is written by our mother, Prophet Mary Bushiri. Hallelujah. Amen. You will win. You will win. Amen. In Jesus' name. It says, God already knows the enemies who are standing against you. He already knows the weapons the enemy is using. Hallelujah. Amen. And in that battle that you are fighting, the Lord knows it. Amen. Amen. After all, he created both the enemy and you. God has entire arsenal of weapons and strategies for fighting battles. Amen. Amen. He knows which strategy will work best for you in this current situation. Hallelujah. Amen. You will win. That battle is not there to defeat you. But that battle is there that you will proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Glory it's for your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My pastor, what can you say to somebody that is watching right now? As the prophet has declared that the Lord will intervene. Yes. 
God is ready to intervene in your situation. Hallelujah. The instruction of the day is that immerse yourself in God. Jesus. The promises are in the scriptures. Yes. Get yourself into the scriptures today. Yes. Take time to pray. Take time to give yourself fully to God. Yes. And the Lord will surely intervene Hallelujah. in your life. And uh, happy Parapuj as we continue. May the Lord bless you. May God of Major One guide and protect you. Happy Parapuj viewers. And until we meet again, Shalom.